Hello, and welcome to another episode of Five Minutes with Freed. I'm your host, Michael Freed. I'm a litigation partner in the matrimonial and family law firm of Berkman, Botker, Newman, and Shine, with offices in New York City, Westchester, and Long Island. And today, my special guest is Matthew Donovan of Farrell Fritz PC. So, Matthew, welcome to Five Minutes with Freed. Thanks. Thanks, Michael. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Great. So, Matthew, what is your role at Farrell Fritz? So, uh, Farrell Fritz, Michael, it's a, it's a full service uh, regional New York law firm with approximately 80 attorneys, uh, five offices in Long Island, Manhattan, where I sit, and, and Albany. I'm a partner in the commercial litigation department, specifically in the business divorce group within that department. And I also serve as the practice group leader or chair of the commercial litigation department. Great. So Matthew, you know that I'm a matrimonial and family law attorney. When would my clients most often require your services? Well, as I said, Farrell Fritz is a full service law firm, but actually it's not entirely true. Um, There's a couple of things we don't do, one of them being matrimonial and family law. So I frequently get um, uh, emails from my partners um, coming from clients, et cetera, asking for referrals. Um, And so there's um, there's a way in which, you know, I we often refer out such cases, Um, but substantively uh, matrimonial uh, cases and disputes often involve, as at least I understand them, <clears throat> you know, marital marital assets involving or consisting of ownership interests, right, in in business entities, um, and that's precisely the context in which I operate as a business divorce lawyer. That is, disputes among closely held business. Uh, owners taking the form of derivative actions or dissolution proceedings or books and records proceedings, appraisal proceedings. Um, So to to the extent that matrimonial cases um, involve fights over business interests as marital assets, for example, uh, and the value thereof, um, I think there's some fairly significant overlap in expertise in that area. Uh, Matthew, what would be the best way for a prospective client or other professional like myself to contact you? Yeah, sure. Um, well, listen, as you know, fortunately, or maybe maybe it's unfortunately, depending on your perspective, but we in the professional services industry, um, we have to always be available, um, right? It's, it, it's part of our fiduciary duty that we we take on. So I'm generally available most days, most times of the day, you know, by way of office phone, by way of mobile phone, by way of email, and you know, more increasingly, I guess, by way of of, of text text message. Um, you know, Farrell Fritz, like most firms, has a fairly robust website, including um, individual bio pages for its attorneys, including me. Um, so you can you can find me there, and and Farrell Fritz also publishes a number of of blogs, including a business divorce blog and a commercial division practice blog, um, where folks can find me as a frequent author as well. You want to give the web address? Yeah, sure. Farrell Fritz, all one word, two R's, two L's. Dot com. Great. So, Matthew Donovan, we have now come to the most important part of our show, and that happens to be the question of the week. So, Matthew Donovan, this is your question of the week. If you could choose any job to be replaced by robots, what job would you make obsolete and why? Uh, um, Well, listen, not to discount the importance of public works type jobs of which I've held actually myself in the past. But you know, what you ever want, what's the deal with street cleaner machines? 
Hmm. I mean, it's a street, man, right? Isn't it the nature of a street to be, you know, sort of dirty, particularly in the gutter section where these machines, these massive machines are all always cleaning? And like, just the other day, I mean, you ever get behind one of these things, particularly when you're late for an appointment or whatever? Oh, that's slow. Um, and oh my God. And, and imagine the you know, the, the, the cleaning solutions and the chemicals involved and the gas being guzzled. I mean, it's not exactly a, a environmentally friendly enterprise, at least I don't think. So listen, I, I again, um, very important jobs, but that one, I think we, we, I think that we'd be okay with retiring street cleaners for, for some kind of robotic machine, I, I think. Well, I got to say, that is a great answer. And Matthew Donovan, <laughs> you have said it all. You are resolving business divorces one day at a time. And I want to thank you for being a wonderful guest on Five Minutes with Kareem.